as you know, the Tom Likas show has given advice to parents. And the advice is the following. If your daughter is fat or fugly, if she looks like she's going to grow up to be less than beautiful, do advise your daughter to get a college education and plan on having a career. Because no man is ever going to pay her bills. Well, I understand that's harsh, but that's the way of the world. You can usually look at a girl and tell by age, let's say, 10. You can pretty much tell what that's going to play out to be. You can take a look and you can tell. And maybe it's hard to be objective about your own children. Maybe you can't see them as objectively as the rest of us. But believe me, you can look at them as early as 10 years old and you can tell where they're going. You can tell if they're going to, uh, you know, become uh, Zeppelins. You can tell if they're going to be hot. You can tell if they're going to be uh, tall or short. You can pretty much tell. So, um, 10 years old would be 5th uh, grade. And that's a good time to start talking to your daughter about college, about uh, the reality of the world. The reality of the world being, if a woman is not beautiful, no man will pay her bills. The less attractive she is and the more she weighs, the less any man she could possibly attract is going to make. The worse job he's going to have. Cold, hard realities. Many of you look at your little chubby princess there and you say, you know... Maybe it's just baby fat. Maybe eventually she'll grow up to be beautiful. Or maybe you can't see that she's heading for 180, 200 pounds. You just can't see it because you're a parent. You've got to take a good, cold, hard look at her. And you've got to figure out whether or not she's going to uh, be able to depend upon the kindness of strangers, as beautiful women do all the time. That's the way it is. So now I'm going to do something that, uh, well, maybe you don't want the kids listening right now, but I'm going to do something that is going to seem cruel and insensitive. And nobody does cruel and insensitive like the Tom Likas show. But uh, I'm talking to you parents out there. Now again, I, I, I'd chase the kids from the room if they're around. Many of you are in your cars right now, listening to me in the car. Hopefully the kids are not in the car. If the kids are in the car, yeah, depending on what you would uh, say to this, you might want to tune away. But if the kids are not in the car, I need you to answer the following question. Okay. I want you to call me and tell me if you think that your kids are going to grow up, especially your daughters. Let's just keep it to daughters, because guys can always make up the difference with money. That's what guys do. You know, in this society, uh, men are defined uh, not by how they look, but they're defined by what they do for a living, what they are. Women are defined by how they look. And if they don't look good, then they're defined by how much money they make. And um, I need you to take a cold, hard look at what your daughter looks like at this point in time. I don't care what her age is. And uh, tell me, uh, do you think that, um, that she's going to have to get that extra education? Is she going to have to work hard? Is she going to have to work her way up in the company? I know it's hard to say this, but I also know that many of you who've had children, maybe they didn't turn out the way you dreamed. You dreamed of having beautiful children, and they were beautiful to you. But if you look at them objectively, they're just not as hot, just not as attractive, just not as thin as you would have wanted them to be. In fact, sometimes you're afraid they're going to turn into that kind of trailer trash that lives at home forever. You're going to be paying their bills because no man will pay a woman's bills if she looks, you know, fat, she looks ugly. And I don't know how many of you will have the guts to do this. I see the phones lighting up right now. But I'm curious as to how many of you have daughters who, frankly, are going to have to do a little extra work in school. Maybe you can call up and uh, describe them to me and tell me why you think 
They're going to need the additional higher education. Why do you think they're going to have to uh, be successful career women when they grow up? That's what I want you to do. If you have a daughter, and she's just not turning out to be a looker, I'd like you to call me and tell me about it toll-free at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Lyka Show brought to you in part by the College Loan Corporation. College Loan Corporation can cut your monthly student loan payments by 50%. And your daughter's going to need a student loan if she's going to be going to college. Especially if she's not beautiful. So call this number. It's 800-2-COLLEGE. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. You're so rageful. I have never heard this word, by the way, rageful. But, uh, all right, I'll assume your IQ is in the triple digits for the sake of argument. You've never spoken to a psychotherapist. Uh, you're a psychotherapist. Or are you just a psycho? The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show from New York City at 1-800-5800-TOM. You can hear our show worldwide on fmtalki.com. If you've got friends in some of the cities where our show is not heard, in fact, right down the block here in New York City, you can go to fmtalki.com and hear the entire Tom Likas Show as God intended it. We're on from 3 to 8 Pacific Time. And where I'm standing right now, the show is on from 6 to 11, Eastern Time. Call your friends and tell them they can also hear the Tom Likas show. And uh, by the way, we did crash the server, I found out the other day when we uh, first announced this. You were having a hard time hearing the show online. And we, got, we crashed out the server. Too many guys calling in from uh, Iraq in the service, I think. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Sonia on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, I am just calling, well, actually, my husband called in because I was arguing with him and was kind of surprised by the topic and your viewpoint right now on saying that unattractive, or if you think your child is going to be unattractive, promoting them to go to college. Absolutely. So I You think that's a bad idea? Uh, it's, I don't think it's a, a bad idea, but what I think is a bad idea is to promote, just to promote college based on attractiveness. Shouldn't we be promoting college for regardless of whether the child's attractive or not? I don't think college is for everybody. And I think really profoundly attractive women uh, don't need college. I don't know if uh, Selma Hayek went to college, but I can tell you she didn't need to. Yeah, well, she's a celebrity and she's in show business. No, but ba- yeah, the fact is, whether she was a celebrity or not, uh, some man would have paid the bills for the rest of her life. She didn't have to do anything. Yeah, but Tom, honestly, how many, what percentage of intelligent women do you think want to rely on a man or have well, to see their Well, the fact is that, the, the, generally speaking, the more intelligent a woman is, the less attractive she is. The what? The more intelligent a woman? Uh, oh, I, I don't Generally speaking, because less attractive women spend more time uh, boning up. Can I say something? Instead of boning down. What? Can I say something? I yeah. actually am in higher education myself, and all of my yeah. friends are very attractive, and all of them are in perfect. Dear, I, you know, you de- again, there are exceptions to every rule, and we tend to know people who are like oh, ourselves. Dear, but I'm generally sorry. speaking... Exceptions uh, to every rule, that's every friend that I have is just about 16 again, individuals. Again, there's, there, there's 125, I'm sorry, there's 175 million women in America, okay? So the fact that you've got 12 attractive, intelligent friends doesn't uh, change the uh, fact. Oh, the vast majority you? of really highly intelligent people are so not that attractive. Question: What kind of girls do you hang out with? You always flaunt the fact that you have tons of money. You're a millionaire. I do. You basically, I, I I'm curious. You're I'm a multimillionaire. Made. No, you're perfect. No, no, let's get it straight. I'm a self-made multimillionaire. Yes. Okay, self-made multimillionaire. Go to town. So the girls you hang out with are very superficial, materialistic, have fake boobs, done all kinds of stuff. No, no, no. I, I, when did I say anything about fake boobs? I, I'm not a fan of fake boobs. Okay, well, whatever. Was it the attractive, less... This is your view of what... Uh, this is your view of a bimbo. So you associate yourself with beautiful women... That Beautiful women. We are only going to like you for your money, and are not that edu- college educated. Well, I, I only like them because they're beautiful. What did you say? I only like them because they're beautiful, so it's quid pro quo. 
So that's fine. You haven't met beautiful women that are highly educated and professional? Very you few. Don't want someone to pay Very few. Very few. I don't see that. To me, it's your perspective and your class of people that... Most highly, most highly educated women are highly educated because they know they'll never be able to attain a man who will pay their bills. Why? Do, my point is, why would women want a man to pay their bills? Everybody I know... Well, I, I, you know, I, that's a question I've been asking for years because I look around and so many men are paying all the bills of the women they're with. That's a very good question. And while we're at it, why don't we talk about why women get alimony? Why women get alimony? Yeah. If yeah, women don't need men for money, why do we have alimony? When the role what? is reversed and the woman makes a lot of money. I'm How really often does that happen? The vast majority of women are with men who make more money than they do. And not only that, women are constantly complaining that they earn 72 cents for every dollar a man makes, blah, blah, blah. Oh, Very few that. men me. are living with women who make more money than they do. And most of those men are losers. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I agree. When those oh, you agree with that generalization? Well, yeah, but see, Tom, I think... So that generalization is okay. You associate yourself, and you're in a certain group of people that hang out with these people. I, I, here, let me give you an example. I, I do not like discussing politics with women. Because, first of all, most women that I know who are attractive don't read the paper. Okay, so my point goes So back what would be the point of attempting to have a serious conversation about something like that with a woman? It's a waste of time. Any woman who knows anything about politics is probably not that attractive and has plenty of time to read the paper. It's the women you're hanging out with. No, That's it's the women that are generally out there, dude. You would hang out with I'm hanging out with beautiful women. That's who I hang out with. I have always hung out with beautiful women. Okay, you can come hang out with me and my gorgeous friends, and I guarantee you we can educate you on a few things. By the way, how gorgeous can they possibly be, dear? Um, you know what? I will send you a picture online of me and all of my friends, and all of them are professional, and all of them are attractive. Oh, yeah. Never have relied on. Uh, no, I had a man call in. You're calling. You're calling from where? Shoreline. Hello. I'm in Seattle. I'm in Seattle. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, uh, Dean told me you were in Shoreline. Well, I'm heading towards Shoreline, but I'm actually from California, okay. getting my doctorate right now at UW, yes. and I'm. And you're at, what are you a ten? What am I a what? Are you a ten? On a scale of one to ten. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I think so. You asked my husband. Definitely. So you have no flaws. You're absolutely perfect. Um, I wouldn't say I'm absolutely perfect, but I think. Well, I'm then you're not a ten. Now, by the way, um, I, I'm going to tell you something a man said yeah, a few weeks ago on this show. A man who lives uh, in the Seattle area said the following. I want to uh, run this by you, okay? Mm -hmm. A man said that uh, it, it, there's a general rule of thumb. Uh, add five pounds for every two miles north of Seattle. <laughs> well, you know what? I have to say, coming being a California native and coming up here, the women tend to be a little bit heavier than they are in California. A little bit? A little yeah. bit? Yeah, yeah. I mean, overall, the winners... Just a little bit. People tend to put on a little bit more weight. But a I'm little bit. I'm from San Diego, so that doesn't yeah. really pertain to me. Yet. So you don't see a lot of women walking around looking like they're wearing a scone from uh, Starbucks or... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Women who are wearing layers of frappuccino under their Eddie Bauer uh, down vest. You don't see a lot of that around? No. Yeah, no. I. You don't, I, huh? What would you say? You know, I come to Seattle all the time. <laughs> You're telling me you don't see that? No, I'm definitely... Didn't you hear the first part of my sentence? I said, compared to California, where I'm from, women tend... You tend to be a little heavier, but you're, I think you're being generous, dear. I think we're losing her. She was very upset when she called in. 1-800-5800-TOM. JP on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, JP. Well, it's my daughter. She's she's fat, and uh, she she didn't look that way when she was younger. She's about eight now. She's eight, and she's fat already. She's already fat. She's coming out ugly. She's even got, like, her teeth aren't doing that good either. It's not good. Bad teeth and everything. Yeah, she, uh, she... Loading up on the candy, is she? Say again? Loading up on the candy, is she? Candy, just... She has weird eating habits. I don't know what's going on with her. You know, I you know, I broke up with her mom, and uh, her mom's taking care of her most of the time. I try to be a good influence on her myself. I'm a personal trainer. I exercise, but, uh... Every time I go over there, she's just getting worse and worse. Now, is Mom a chunkster, too, or what's the deal there? chunkster, Tom. That's why I had to get out of there, man. She gained like 100 pounds. She's so fat. She looks horrible. Really? 
So, so yeah, have daughter. you explained the facts of life to your daughter? I'm not talking about sex. I'm talking about if she continues to chunk up. I got to have to work a lot harder. Sometime. I got to have her call in the show that you explain it. I don't even know how to begin to break that to her. Yeah. I, it'd be easier to talk to her about sex. Uh, it was hell, man. These kids know more about sex than we ever did at that age yeah. nowadays. Now they need to know the real facts of life. Or in this, in your daughter's case, the facts of life. Yeah, exactly, exactly. She, you know, she didn't have to go this way too. She looked so beautiful when she was like three, four. But as time progressed, she just started degrading. It was unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. Well, you know, these girls get older, and then uh, the truth comes out. Yeah. Well, hey, Tom. You know, my girlfriend. She hates you. She wants to yell at you. Is that okay? Oh yeah, put her on. I'd love there to talk go. to her. She was ready to go on the air. Hello? Yes. You know, I really don't like your show, and I feel like you just kind of destroyed I'm ready. Uh. You know? I'm sorry? She hung up. Oh, boy, oh, boy. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello to Michelle on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. My name's Michelle. Um, I just said that. Sorry about that. I couldn't hear you very well. I'm on a cell phone. I'm actually from New York. I never heard of you before, but I'm actually in California, and I just tuned in. Um, oh, do you live in California or New York? I live. I actually live in New York, but I'm um, out here for business. Ah. Um. I'm just wondering, where are you getting your facts from, or is this all generalizations? Are you talking about facts or facts? I said facts. Well, there have been several studies done recently uh, that we have read on the air, but you, of course, were in New York eating a hot dog at the time or something. You didn't hear it. Uh, There have been several studies recently that say specifically that uh, women who weigh more uh, have family incomes that are lower. Okay, well, that is a statistical fact, and I'm not sitting here with my entire directory of statistics that I've read on the air, but I read all of the methodology of that survey on the air and where it came from and what have you, and it was duplicated in another survey that we also read on the air. Okay, well, what about the fact that um, as far as graduate and um, college um, you know, degrees, women outrank men? What about bad-looking men having to go and rely on college education because they can't foot the bill. Well, the fact is, whether a man looks good or not, a man has to foot the bill. Uh, Bottom line is, uh, whether a guy looks like Pierce Brosnan or uh, Louis Anderson, it doesn't matter. Uh, Men have to work until they're dead. Mm, I think that's pretty much a generalization. Really? Well, how many people, how many men are sitting around in the tanning booth all day long while their high-powered attorney wives are going into the law firm every day? anything off of facts. You're basically making general... Oh, please, dear. I have a lifetime of experience. Hey, well, what, I'm asking you, are you telling me... What does your husband do for a living? Is he sitting home while you work? Is that it? No, he's actually on vacation right now. Um, oh, but he does work, right? He's between jobs right now. He's between jobs. Oh, so your husband's unemployed. No, he's... So you're sensitive about this because your husband at the, at the moment is a loser and he has to depend on your income. My husband makes three times as much as I do, but that doesn't... When he's working, which he's not. He just stopped... Now, three times... Is, by the way, zero is three times zero. You know what I'm talking about? He just started a new job. My question is this. You just said he was between jobs. Well, forget this. Forget Did he just start a new job or is he between jobs or are you just perennially confused? You're the guy on the soapbox. Huh? Facts. You're on the guy on the soapbox without facts, trying to get people. Dear, uh, what fact? What, what is it? I mean, what do you mean without facts? I just told you we had two studies on this program that said that women who weigh more have lower family incomes than women who weigh less. It's documented. Talk about stuff that matters. Who the heck cares about if your kids are fat? And what kind of loser is going to go on to that? Well, uh, dear, I, I will tell you how I know the stuff I talk about matters. I know you uh, just fell off the turnip truck in Los Angeles. We have the number one afternoon show in Los Angeles. So somebody cares about it, even oh, if it isn't you. The traffic. The only reason could be the traffic because... Well, uh, dear, there's 82 stations on. They're all playing on radios in traffic. I Guess just, what? People I choose know. this show before they choose other shows. Well, and that's because East Coast bitches like yourself call in, and I make mincemeat of you. Oh, and you know, you have to go there. What kind of... Oh, I've, are dear, you I've, I've been there and back. Uh, you know, I'm here in New York right now. I'm very sensitized to women like you. You're just pathetic. I know your type. Get something I, on the I'm not pathetic, dear. I, dear, I, I make ten times what you make at the very least, believe me. 
If I'm so pathetic, why am I down here at the radio station and you're calling in and making making my day easy by calling up and providing grist for the mill? When it comes down at the end of the day, you know what? You like what you do. What about you? Forget about me. Forget I love what I do. You like cutting what you do. down big mouth bitches like yourself to size. I love it. Big mouth East Coast broads just like to yap 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 all the time. Love it. Do you have, kids? Do you have any daughters? It's very very rewarding. Do you have any daughters? I'm curious because I, I don't know any. No, I, I, no, I, I, no, I've had other people's daughters, but uh, I haven't had any of my own. How old are you now? W why does it matter, dear? Everyone knows how old I am. I'm just asking. Why does I, it matter? I've never heard of you before. I just heard this on the radio. Well, that's because you just came to Los Angeles. I happen to be one of the most well-known radio personalities in Los Angeles. I'm sorry if your whole world is Scott Shannon, dear, but uh, the fact is that uh, I've been on the radio in Los Angeles for 18 years. Okay. And so, so just because you are ignorant of what goes on on the West Coast doesn't mean the rest of the people are. Listen, have some kids, okay, and then think about No, thanks. Doing, then no, I don't feel like having kids. You know why? You know, Because I wouldn't want to pay child support to a bitch like you. Oh, my God. You're just so sad. I, I hope you find... I hope Nothing I sad about it. I'm a self-made multimillionaire. I do whatever I want. I have a four-story you know, house in the Hollywood Hills. I, I drive an expensive car. I hope at the end. Of I don't the have day, to listen to a bitch like you. Our life is great. I hope at the end of the day. That you know, I I I grew up in New York, having to look at chicks like you with the big hair and the can of Aquanet in your purse and walking around chewing gum with the acrylic nails. You know what? You uh, dear, I've I've seen it all. Walk. Spend enough time at the Smith Haven Mall. I know your type. I do. You don't know my type at all, sweetheart. I can tell your type. I'm from Junction. I'm from Dutchess County. Ooh. So don't even she's, you by the way, for those of you who have never been in New York, she's trying to pull like, oh, I'm from Dutchess County, which is like saying she's from a more upscale area than Suffolk County. No, I'm saying I'm That's from what she's trying. I'm not from... So what? Area. It's all the same. It's all that same East Coast yeah. yapping. Well, you, you all sound like Fran Drescher. You the, the less attractive anything. Fran Drescher's at that. Well, you haven't heard anything I've said. You haven't heard anything any other... Here, I've heard it, but believe you me, you have such a big me. mouth. I have heard every word over and over. All right, have a good life. And uh, don't worry, I will. Hopefully this isn't, you know, uh, Hopefully, hopefully you'll be leaving Los Angeles never to return, because you can't get a good slice of pizza, right? Uh, well, that's true. I'll uh, see, I know. <laughs> we all say <laughs> hey, the same hey, thing. Hey, if you're, if you're saying, you know, if, you, if you're right, I'll tell you you're right. On that, you're right. <laughs> well, is he? Well, thanks I know. for taking the call, but hopefully this isn't what your, your real uh, oh. motto. This is just for, for the hype for the ratings. No, this is not. Wait, hang on a second before I let you go, okay? Yeah, Eddie, what did you want to say to Michelle here? Michelle, what are you talking about? You've never been to the show. You're listening to it for the first time. You're just like all these other women that call in, yapping about how Tom is not right and everything like that. And everything he says is the truth. You all want to be your self-sufficient man, so why don't you take us out on a date and pay for one of us? Why does the man always have to pay for everything? I think that's general out. Well, number one, you got your... Radio that's a stereotype. Her husband has no job. She's paying for everything right now. I mean, come on now. The last time... Husband's you know, between jobs, sweetheart. Number one, That he means he's out of work. So he was laid off then. What, is no. he a consultant now? He quit one job. He's a programmer two weeks ago, and he starts on Monday. Ah. Okay. So who pays for things, him or you? Uh, we split it down the line, mister. Right, but I mean, when, when you started dating, did he pay for everything for you? No, he would pay for some times, and I pay for some times. No, it depends. Way, uh, <laughs> Who paid more? You want, you want me to be honest? I'm being honest. You don't like honesty. You guys just want generality. Oh yeah, we and hate you honesty. Want to hear it the way you think it. You want to hear bras like you lied to us? Go ahead. I, I want. You, I want to find. I, I've had other people pay for me, but normally he would pay. Sometimes I pay. We go Dutch. It depends. Well, you know, women always want to be treated like equals. Well, if they want to be treated like equals, then hey, you guys can start asking. I'm not that saying every. Point. I'm not saying all women don't. I'm saying that. I'm, I'm saying some women do and some women don't. Just don't make a generality of it. Don't make stereotypes. That's what you're doing. And he's never made generalities. He's always said. I don't know what he has or hasn't before. All I know is what I when I'm flipping through the radio station and I hear this funk. I'm like, well, where's where's the facts to back it up? And he's saying... If women are fat or unattractive, they will not find men who will take care of them. 
call. I just want to tell you that. I think in an area like New York, where I believe you're saying you're from, is that true, Tom? I'm from Jersey myself, so I know exactly I did live here at one time, and thank God I'm gone. It takes two incomes now anyway, so it doesn't matter unless you're in that small percentage. Even in Manhattan, you're talking about a $600,000 house that's 50 years old if you can afford it, and then you're paying 15 grand in taxes. So it doesn't matter how good you're looking anymore. Oh, that's why. Really that's why the hot chicks live in Manhattan. Money, then it don't matter. To make it. The homely bras live in Wyandanch, huh? I don't know. Well, I've had enough of this today, but thanks for the um, time to talk, and hopefully, uh, maybe you guys will figure this out with your. All right. You know, well, I just want. I just wanted to say the following here, dear. Thank you so much for calling. It was nice talking. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. You're so rageful. I have never heard this word, by the way, rageful. But, uh, all right, I'll assume your IQ is in the triple digits for the sake of argument. I've never spoken to a psychotherapist. Uh, you're a psychotherapist. Or are you just a psycho? The Tom Likas Show. New York City, it's the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Just uh, want to talk to people who are the parents of the girls who are chunking up or look like they're just not going to turn out to be 8s, 9s, or 10s. And uh, maybe you can uh, tell us the whole story. Kenny on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Oh, what's up, brother? Uh, not much, Kenny. Hey, man, I can't stand those chicks with that New York accent, man. They drive me nuts. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> hey, man, I, I, had, I, had to, I had to leave New York because of that. I couldn't take it. I couldn't handle it. No. Uh, hey, I got I got two little girls, man, and uh, one of them's gonna grow up to be uh, she's she's probably gonna be supermodel quality, you know. And the, yeah. the other one's putting on a little chunk, man, and I'm uh, trying to get uh, get her to thin up a little bit, you know, putting her in soccer and all that, and uh, trying to explain stuff to her without having to, you know, go through the whole thing and just explain it to her straight out. Trying to so, what have you told her? Uh, she, something came up, I bought her mom a car, and, um, she said that when she got older, you know, her husband was going to buy her, uh, her a Mercedes, and I said, you know, I don't, I don't know if, uh, if that's going to happen, babe, you got to, um, you got to kind of lay off the candy and stuff, and, uh, just kind of dropping little hints like that, you know, I'm kind of hoping it'll take hold, but, uh, it's not seeming to too much. Oh, boy. Wow. And, um, what does your, uh, wife think about that? Uh, you know, she doesn't seem to have too much of a problem with it at all, man. She just says it's her, and that's the her, like her body build. And uh, what does your wife look like? Uh, she's hot, man. I mean, your wife is hot. Yeah, totally. She's okay with your daughter being chunky. Uh, she's she seems to think that she'll grow out of it, and I don't think you grow out of habits because that's all it is. It's habit. It's uh, you know, it's food. So obviously, it's our fault for letting her uh, get chunky. You know, but I mean. Uh, it just it, she's already developed this habit, and I'm worried she's not gonna not gonna get a, away from it. She's gonna keep eating Twinkies too much her whole life, you know. I understand. Uh, it's frustrating and sad at the same time, man. I shouldn't. Uh, I don't. I don't want to have the fat kid, you know. Well, I the um, fat girl, the, the fat I, boy. I com <laughs> fat boy is another story. Yeah. Those guys have to work anyway. Mm -hmm. But girls, you know, girls think they can opt out of college or they'll meet Prince Charming or something, but you're not going to meet Prince Charming if you're a fatty. It's not going to happen. Oh, exactly. You, just have so, to uh, you have to settle for less. Do you, do you think there's any harm in sitting her down and talking to her and telling her straight out? The, uh, well, you know, there has been that scientific research I told you about that said that women who weigh more uh, have lower household incomes than women who weigh less. Yeah, well, she's there's you know she'll she'll never have to worry about money because the situation we're in. But uh, I still don't want a fat daughter. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, uh, I understand. It's, it's yeah, it's depressing, man. It makes me feel bad. You know? I understand. So, Hang on a second, though, Kenny. Yeah, uh, let me get uh, Steve on here. Steve, what do you want to say to Kenny? Hey, Tom, how you doing, brother? I'm okay. You know, I agree with uh, everything you talk about. Uh, number one yeah. fan for a long time. I love that. This. This bozo you got on the phone now, he's telling his child that she's going to be fat when she grows up. What are you doing to your kid's self-esteem, man? Well, I'm why trying to help her, it, man. Why don't you just hit her in the head with a freaking baseball bat and get it over with? Keep talking, brother. 
Yeah, I'll keep talking, bro. Right. I'm trying to Come help on, her out, man, because if she grows up through high school being fat, she's obviously going to get her self-esteem hurt a lot first. Hey, dude, no, come on. I mean, yeah, I know. Come on, come on, come up with that, something else, man. That's, that's your, that's, that's your, that's wrong, your man, child. Man. That's your child. If you can't do any better than that, we have people out there that can. Okay, <laughs> All right, you're a freaking, right. you're a freaking moron. And uh, thank God, there's not a lot of fathers out there like you. Yeah, really. You know, All right, ask, ask Tom what he thinks, sir. I, I tend to think that Tom would probably agree with me over you. I I do so. believe that if your daughter is going to turn out to be a, a fatty, you really have to sit her down and tell her, look, um, hopefully you're planning on getting a doctorate how, or, uh, how old is she? or something. How old is she? She's 10. Oh, dear Lord. Enough, enough peer pressure in this world that kids have to deal with, and you're sitting down telling her, you know, hey, if you don't change your ways, you're not going to get nothing when you grow up. You're going to be fat. That's not the way to handle it, bud. Yeah, it's, dude, it's the same thing as sitting down telling your boy if he's goofing off all the time, he's never going to make any money. It's the same no. exact thing. I got I got two kids. I got a 16-year-old and an 18-year-old. Fantastic kids, good in high school. Fantastic come, kids, good in high school. That means they're probably fat, right? When it, not, not, a, not a bit, son. Not a bit. When it comes time to discipline your kids and guide them, there's ways to do it. And with you out there telling your baby girl that she's going to be fat and she's never going to have anything, you're a freaking moron. You're not even more spitting on. <laughs> All, right, man. All right. All right, I'm done talking yeah, to you. Thomas, have, have your opinion. Take me I out Kennedy sir. style, baby. Uh, senior or junior, Steve? Junior. Junior, of course. Here you go. season begins with a Thursday night special on ABC. Start it up with the Rolling Stones, Green Day, Santana, Kanye West, and more. It's the NFL's biggest opening night ever as the two-time defending Super Bowl champion New England Patriots take on the Oakland Raiders in the official start of the regular season. It's a night of hits. Thursday, September 8th at 8 p.m. Eastern on ABC. Brought to you by Rocky Mountain Cold Coors Light, the official beer sponsor of the NFL and Super Bowl 40. Tom, Tom Likis. 1-800-5800-TOM. Surprise! The Tom Likis Show. You're listening to Tom Likis on 100.7 The Buzz. Radio for guys. Tom Likis. 100.7 The Buzz. Radio for guys. The Tom Likis Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. Is your telephone number? Amanda on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I when I was younger, I used to eat a lot of junk food, and I kind of got fat. But over the years, I've been kind of slimming down. But I, I've always heard that like you're you're attracted to the people you're like, like losers and ugly people are attracted to ugly people, you know. And mm-hmm. ugly people seem to be attracted to me. So. Really? Yeah. Like, fat, ugly, nasty looking, gross guys. You mean hot guys won't go out with you? No, none of them seem to like me. It's like, they're all like, oh my gosh. It's just like, I, I don't know. Well, uh, are you ugly or fat or both or what? I, I think I'm fat. Well, then uh, why would hot guys go out with you if you're fat? I don't... I don't know. Hot guys can get anybody they want. Well, I just wanted to know, like, do you think that's true? Like, ugly people attracted to ugly people? Well, I, I, you know, we always say on this show, it's an old uh, saying, water seeks its own level. Do you know what that means? Yeah, Okay, well, that's all I really wanted to know. You want to get hotter, guys? you got to be hotter. Okay, so I should, like, just quit eating or... Not quit eating, eating? But, but eat sensibly and exercise and uh, lose it slowly. And okay. then keep it off. Stay in shape. Do you work out? Yeah. What do you do? Well, I'm not, like, way fat. Just, like, just, like... Chubby. Chubby, dear. Uh, again, you want to get hot guys. And later on in life, you want to get rich, successful guys. You can't be chubby. Yeah, how 
come all these, like, seriously, they're, like, huge guys. Like, fat America. Oh, my God. Well, because oh. guys pay for everything, and so guys can be whatever they want to be. But women expect men to pay the mortgage, pay the cable TV bill, pay for clothing, pay for groceries. So if women expect that, they have to give men something in return. They have to look good. Okay. Okay. That's good enough for me. Right. Now, if you choose, uh, you can just go to college, study hard, uh, go to graduate school, get great grades, become a doctor, a lawyer, an architect or something, make your own money. So I'm not good at school. Well, you better start getting a little better at it or losing some weight, one or the other. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's the choice you have, dear. Unbelievable. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Remember, you can hear our show live every day of the week at FMTalkI.com. The Tom Likas Show.